Hi, I'm James Jennings with Doubleheader Decoys. Today I would like to go over a couple different decoys that uh, we sell here at Doubleheader Decoys. Uh, the first one I'd like to talk to you about, and I also want to show you how to use these decoys and how they work. The first one I want to go over with you is what we call our basic DHD, the double-headed decoy. Uh, all the decoys that we sell have removable heads. Uh, this one here, when you purchase this decoy, it will come with two heads. It will come with a uh, detachable hen head and a detachable jig head. And the decoys actually, uh, the heads are all incorporated with a very strong, uh, very uh, uh, well-made, uh, high-quality magnet that is very strong uh, that cling to these wires. And when you lock it on, you can bend that head in any position you want. So, really unique concept. Uh, this one here has the same magnet style in it as they all do. Uh, you can even make it a, a feeding hen if you like. Very versatile, very unique style of hen heads on these decoys. Uh, actually, they're cast heads. They're not freeze-dried. They're cast from a freeze-dried head. So you get freeze-dry quality and a very, very uh, durable, uh, basically an undestructible head. And if the paint would ever chip off of them for any reason or, or anything from turkeys or rain or anything, uh, just detach the head, put it in a little box, ship it to us or to your local taxidermist and, and have it painted. Uh, all decoys have a handle on them. They're all made with no legs. And the reason for that is, is for compactability. They can fit in a turkey vest. Uh, you can put them in a pillowcase. I, I recommend a dark color, a brown or a, a gray or a black pillowcase. But anyway, you can stick them in any bag you like. Uh, you could use the handle uh, for carrying it, but it also works very well for movement. Uh, what's very neat about these decoys is you just carry an inexpensive uh, fishing reel with you with a brass swivel knock, or a fishing type of swivel. Come up here, you click it, click it to the front part of your handle, and what I like to do is just run it right down the side of the decoy, and all I do is take a rubber band wrap it three or four times tight around the bottom of the, the tube insert that goes in the decoy and go up above that rubber band and do four or five up to 15 wraps. Uh, the more wraps, of course, the more times you can make the decoy spin. Run this back to your tree or to your blind. As soon as the turkey comes in, if there's no wind or no movement, these decoys will move with wind, but if there is no wind, all you gotta do is give this a pull. The decoy spins and does as many turns as you have that, that string wrapped. Uh, very, very cool, you know, way to get these decoys to move. And with that jake on there, you know, you could really intimidate a gobbler, making him think that a jake is trying to spin at him, you know, trying to fight. The other decoy I'd like to talk to you about uh, that we sell is a strut gobbler that we call Houdini. Uh, it's a, basically a young two-year-old gobbler uh, with a cast head, just like these heads over here, uh, that are 100% removable work with a magnet system just like the other heads but this decoy here just comes with the one head we used to make them in the double head options and we later found that uh, painting them two different colors really doesn't do much of anything turkeys really prefer this color here it looks more like the fighting color or a color of a bird that's excited so they want to come in and run that bird off so uh, the reason that we still have these detachable is for safety uh, you know moving the decoy setting it up you can put it in your vest and also when you carry it a uh, very simple tip is once you take the head off and you want to put it in your bag or a vest you can just bend that wire straight flat against that back and it's not going to catch on anything if it's right in the bag uh, the tail fan is detachable and movable I'll show you how that works in just a second and when you set it up you just open the wire back up slide your head back on and you're ready to go this decoy here also comes with a handle but what's really cool about this decoy is it also comes with a tail bracket now these tail brackets we actually sell individually and it will work with this hen decoy and I'll show you that in a minute but on this decoy here basically it's just a couple bolts a couple pieces of uh, blocks of wood and it just bolts in any tail fan and it works with a rubber band very simple hinge system and I'll show you how that works real quick all you got to do is carry a pocket full of these rubber bands very inexpensive you can get them at Walmart or anywhere some paper clips Loop your rubber bands together where you get one long rubber band, and I basically tie a knot close to the paper clip so the paper clip stays tight. So this has a slot in the back of the decoy that this is keyed in that will lock the tail fan in place. So this tail fan, you can, as you're carrying the decoy, take the head off, you can put it in your vest. Very easy, compact. Get to your setup, pop in your tail fan, let it fall down. 
hook your rubber band in a little eye bolt there, pull it up, open your feathers, and I like to click it on the front part of the handle just so I get good stretch out of my rubber band. Fluff your feathers up around it. Now this decoy is a little rough because we've had him hunting actually with us for the past five seasons. So still durable, still tough, and still looks good. And all you gotta do is take your fishing reel, the same type of hook, come around to the back of the decoy, hook it through another eye bolt. Now very importantly, what you wanna do is run your string right down below the bird between his wings. And those wings are together for a reason to help hold that line there. Come around in front of the decoy. And I don't like facing him directly to my blind. I like to kind of quarter him away from me just a little bit. And the reason for that is when I pull that string and that tail fan, there's a key lock on this that will work with your stake that you get with these decoys. So when you pull it, he'll pirouette, hit the stop, his tail fan will go down, and he'll, he'll turn back for you. So you pull him again, he'll turn, stop, tail fan goes down, let it up, and he'll turn back for you. Absolutely works every time and flawless, and if the rubber band breaks, well, those are easy to replace. It's not like trying to find a spring or something else that's hard to find. One more thing I'd like to show you is, like I said, this tail fan comes off, so what you could do, if you just want to purchase one decoy that does it all, I recommend that DHD with the jig head, the hen head, also comes with it as well, but all you got to do is detach this tail fan. They all interchange and then pop off. There's actually tubes in the back of the decoy that that fits into, so it's very durable. Buy this bracket. These brackets are sold individually. You can stick any tail fan in it, like I mentioned before. And there's actually a slot in the back of this decoy that this fits right into. Plug it in. You can stick a jig tail fan in it, a hen tail fan, anything you want to fan out. Hook up your rubber band, just like on Houdini I did over there. Hook it up, same thing with the string. Very simple, come between the wings, right down. This one here is not key locked right now, but as I pull it, you still get the same strutting, movable decoy, all in one decoy. So actually, finally now you have a mounted decoy that covers every hunting application. You have one decoy that you can change throughout the season that works in every hunting application. The only decoys right now on the market to do that. So with that, I hope that uh, you have luck with purchasing these decoys if you purchase one. I know they'll uh, definitely change your turkey hunting as they have ours, and uh, they will make it definitely more exciting. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.